Hey guys and welcome to another video. In this tutorial we're gonna have a look at connecting a Windows 98 retro PC to a modern NAS. So the machine we're using today is a Athlon 64 3000 plus with 256 megabytes of RAM. We've got Windows 98 SE installed. We're using a 64 gigabyte SSD and we have a Radeon 9250. The network drivers are not installed yet because that is the first step. And this is the NAS that we're gonna work with. It's from Asus Store, the Locker Store 4. Here we are logged into the portal of the NAS and we need the IP address. Now this NAS has a LCD display. So even if you can't connect to it from your retro PC, you can just look on the LCD display and get the IP address. I also recommend that you log into your router and create a IP address reservation. This means that the NAS will uh, always get the same IP address uh, on the network. Now in this video we will focus on Windows 98 SE but I've also networked my DOS machines Windows XP and Windows Vista with this NAS so it's very retro friendly. It has two Ethernet ports and that's very suitable for creating two networks. You can have one network for your modern computers which connects to the internet and then you can have a second network on the second ethernet port, a retro LAN which is offline, no access from the internet and it is isolated from the modern computers. We're using hard drives from Western Digital. These are Red Pro NAS hard drives, four of them, 14 terabytes each and we have created a RAID 5 array. Under Windows Services, there are two settings that are changed. The first one is the minimum protocol for Windows file service. This needs to be set to SMB1. And then also we change the SMB signing option to default. And in terms of user accounts, we've got the default admin account, but I created another one, the PCL user and it is very important to use the exact same username and password that you have on the NAS that you use the same one on your Windows 98 PC. And here we have all the folders that are shared. Shared drive, this is the main folder that we're using. Here are all the users and we have read write permissions. So we're back on the Windows 98 PC. What we will be doing now is installing our network card drivers. I placed them on the desktop and now we're gonna reboot the machine and then we select the same username and password as, uh, as the one on our NAS. So when you get to this screen, you enter the same username that you have on your NAS and also the same password. We're just gonna confirm it and now we are good to go. Now, if you're trying to map your network drive now, you will get an error. And there is a small patch that we need to install. Now, I've tried installing this patch directly or manually. It just didn't work. But if I install it through the unofficial Windows 98 uh, service pack, um, then everything works. So I will just uh, show you the method that I use. Basically, you download the unofficial Windows 98 uh, service pack and it's the very first uh, patch that we need. So when you get to this window, just cross it off and then you will get a screen with all the updates and we need this one here. And I've tried this several times with getting this update directly as a download. It just didn't work for whatever reason. But if I install it uh, through this interface, everything will work just fine. And we're almost there. So we're just gonna log on one more time and everything should be working now. We should now be able to map our network drive. So now we just open the file explorer, go to tools, map network drive. I like to use the drive letter S, tick this box here, and then we enter the uh, path of our NAS. So it's 192.168.2012 slash and then shared drive and I'll put in a little I'll put a spelling mistake here ah it connected okay so it looks like 
it doesn't uh, worry about the capitalization and here we are all my games all my drivers everything I do in the channel is now accessible so let's install some benchmarks let's have a look we can install 3d mark let's have a look 2000 and that's fully working now I just want to see if we can also map the network drive through DNS so by entering the name of the NAS rather than the IP address so I named it Phil's NAS and let's have a look if that also works yep that works just fine so you don't actually have to use IP addresses you can use the name of the NAS and that's changeable you can log into the uh, NAS and yep give it a different name and here's the machine copying Quake 2 and Quake 3 from the NAS onto our retro gaming PC. And yeah, there's not much more to it. It's pretty straightforward. Just a few settings that you need to keep in mind. And yeah, I must say, since having this NAS, my digital life, um, it's very straightforward. Everything is centralized and I can organize everything neatly. And it definitely has improved my workflow now we will have more videos um, uh, for example I want to show you how you can use FTP with Windows 98 that's a good alternative but especially how you can access the NAS from MS-DOS to copy some files that's also quite interesting and yeah let me know what do you think of networking uh, Windows 98 with modern networking equipment especially the topic of security interests me I'm not an expert uh, there are a lot of resources on the Asus store website and I'm just yeah I'm basically learning as I uh, go along but using the two Ethernet ports to build two networks a separate LAN uh, for your retro stuff and another LAN for your modern machines including internet access I think that's the way to go and the way I've set it up is by using two routers basically so I've got a uh, modem slash router for my modern network and that hands out all the IP addresses to the modern machines and hands out the default uh, gateway with, through DHCP and on the second Ethernet port yeah I plugged in an older modem slash router with ADSL which doesn't work in um, yeah in my house anymore because I've got upgraded I've been upgraded uh, to the NBN network and on that one different IP addresses it's a separate network and on that one all the retro PCs are connected there's no internet access so there's no danger of catching anything because it will never go online but I can access the NAS and install all my games so let me know how that sounds from a security perspective if you've got any good resources um, link them down below always eager to learn more and that's it so let me know what you think and give it a like if you enjoyed this video if you've got any questions leave them down below and I shall see you soon with another one